Puka. I'm John. And I'm Mike. And today we're really excited because today is the first episode of Mixology Monday. So Mike, why don't you let them know what Mixology Monday is first before we talk about our favorite mixes that we created for today. So guys, every Monday we are going to be posting a video of our favorite mixes. And it's not just going to be about us, it's going to be about you guys. We want you guys to suggest those flavors down in the comments. Leave us some of your favorite mixes because we want to share them with the world so you guys know what other people think of your flavor and what we think of it. So it's going to be a very interactive weekly video, honestly. We want you guys to be very interactive with us on this little segment we created. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to have a lot of amazing mixes on the show. We have two amazing mixes right now. So, John, why don't, we, why don't we get into this and let them know what we're smoking? Well, to start for my mix, it's a four-flavored mix consisting of three special edition cans and a traditional flavor. So I'm going to get into that right now. You guys saw me pack up a few minutes before this. I packed up blues with lovely cherry, berry, blend, and mint. And I'm not even going to give you guys percentages because I'm going to strictly base it off of your preference. For me, I really wanted the mint to stand, it out, stand out. I really wanted that cooling, nice effect because you guys know me as Straight Mint John. So obviously I got to mix some mint in there. So I got the blues, the grapiness of the blues special edition. I got the lovely cherry, which is very lovely if you ask me. And then I got the berry blend, the finest berries in a blend that you could ever ask for. And then I got the freshness of the cool mint. So, um, I personally added more mint to my mix. I added more blues to my mix and I only took two pinches from the lovely cherry and from the berry blend because I didn't really want those flavors to stand out too well. I, all, I wanted it to mix really well so I got a mint coolness effect. So from smoking this flavor, let me take a rip off this. All right, it's very good. It's very minty, which I love. Um, I've had my bowl going for about 15 minutes now. So what's really coming out of this mix that you could look forward to is the special edition blues, it's going to be there. You're going to notice it right away. Then you're going to be followed by the lovely cherry. You're going to get that cherry mixed with that fine grape and it tastes really good. And then you're getting that very small undertone of the berry blend. You're not going to get a lot of it. And this is my preference of the mix. That's why I didn't give you guys percentages. I had leftover shisha after I packed the bowl because I just, I mix so much because, you know, you can never have too much. If you have more, then you have, you have shisha left for a bowl later. So that's what my mix consists of, and it's very good. Like, I like it a lot. So I, I hope that you guys maybe try it sometime. Mike, why don't you let them know what you're smoking on? Well, guys, I got a little piece of tin foil wrapped around my bowl because it's been going for a little bit. The coals are got, getting kind of small, and I wanted just a little bit more smoke output from this flavor. So this will probably be in a video later on, honestly, to teach you some tips, some tricks to get bigger smoke, smoother smoke. But I am smoking 50% Puka Matata, 50% Kiwi Garden. You guys already know I love Kiwi. I post on Instagram all the time about kiwi. Kiwi is one of my favorite flavors, probably the top three. It's amazing. The kiwis are very, very strong flavor, guys. So it's very overpowering, but I didn't want too much of the hookah matata because my personal preference, I love kiwi. It's so good. It's a very sweet flavor. And the hookah matata, it honestly adds some sourness to it like a green apple this flavor honestly tastes like a sour green apple you get the, the undertones of like the pine or the uh floralness of these flavors they're they're very good mixed together i love these flavors um john your flavor smells just yeah. amazing. It's making me speechless. I could smell it. Why don't I want, we, I want, why don't we I want to do here. a little switch. Yeah. Let's get some second opinions on these mixes. I haven't even tried this yet. I want you guys to know we came up with these on the 
bought. Like, we just, before we made this video, we just started smelling flavors left and right, coming up with a mix, something new. We wanted to share something new with you guys, something that no one else has come up with. I'm going to be completely honest with you, Mike. Um, I really like this flavor. Um, yeah, explain, explain what you're tasting to them, because... Yeah, definitely. You might be tasting something yeah. different than me, honestly. Um, Mike knows that I'm not the biggest fan of kiwi. But I will say, ever since Mike started messing with kiwi, mixing it with stuff, I've started to become a little bit more of a big fan of kiwi. Um, this kiwi garden, I definitely like it better than the tradition, traditional kiwi. So if you haven't tried special edition kiwi garden, it's actually really good, so you should give it a try. Um... Now the hookah matata, I love that flavor. I mean, it's it's so juicy and fresh. If you haven't tried it, it's literally a great flavor. So when I'm smoking this hookah, let me take another rip. It's definitely one of the smoothest mixes I've ever smoked. And when I mean smooth, I don't mean that it's so citrusy and explosive in your mouth just blowing your mouth out of proportion um <laughs> it's just uh it's not going to catch you by the boo boo it's a very smooth subtle smoke the kiwi complements this hookah matata literally so well mike yeah. that like I, I love this mix I, yeah I was, honestly i was very uh skeptical on this mix because the hookah matata kind of smells weird to me i don't know what it smells like but it's kind of weird but like when you smoke it it's just so smooth and it's so good like we're gonna do a review on this flavor eventually don't worry about it we'll get a single review on this but like it just smells weird to me i don't know why i don't know what it is about it and we're not going to get too much in detail and depth of these flavors because we'd like to review them so you guys actually know what you're going to be working with if you go to mix these flavors if you buy them so mike uh what do you think about my flavor Definitely a very fruity. minty, fruity. very very minty, but it's not overpowering mint. You know, when you're smoking a mint, you know it could be throaty or you know it could it could just hurt to smoke it. But the the combination of the other three flavors really smooths it out. It adds a lot of uh, fruitiness to it. I really get a lot of the blues, like a uh, purple grape, some blueberry maybe. And uh, the lovely cherry, I just love that flavor. One I like of, this mix because... One of my favorite flavors, like, and the berry <laughs> blend just adds more to it. It's just, it a, does. It's, it's a very good mix. So if you like minty, fruity flavors, I think try that, this. I, I think that uh, it's not that minty, though. I think it's the perfect amount of mint. You don't want to go too crazy with yeah, it. Yeah, it's not, it's not overpowering with mint. But it's there. Yeah, You're it's able cold. to notice. It's cold, yeah. too. Yeah, it's cold. You're definitely going to get that with this flavor. Um, I did mix a little bit more mint, and I definitely put a little bit of more mint on top because sometimes, you know, if it's, it, if it's on the bottom or if it's mixed with a lot of flavor, you won't get too much of it. But the new traditional packaging the new packaging of mint is on point it's very fresh it's very it's got a strong cooling effect the new alfacher mint it's no joke like it's up there it's literally it's my go-to yeah mint. i've seen a lot of people with the new packages saying that they just love the new mint and the mint with cream just so you guys know oh my god the mint not with even cream. we're Don't not even gonna go me, yeah we're no. not gonna go into it but <laughs> guys Mint try, with yeah, try mint. trust me, it's that good. The mint with cream is so good. I definitely enjoy the suka, Mike. Yeah, so guys, please, please leave us some suggestions on some mixes. Every Monday, we're going to be posting a video of our mixes, of your guys' mixes, anyone's mixes. It's going to be awesome. We're going to have... A lot more segments coming up, a lot more videos, reviews, tips and tricks. We're going to have videos coming out all the time. Be prepared. It's going to be awesome. We're on the come up. So, guys, one last thing before we go. Do you even out, fucker?